Good morning, everyone. My name is Dawn, Dawn Southern Finds. Um, welcome back to my channel. I almost lost what I was going to say. Anyway, um, I went on to an estate type sale. The sale is actually not until June, but they let me go early and uh, while they were putting stuff out. So let me show you some of the things I got. I paid $100 total everything I got now a few things are home because I filmed this video yesterday and when I looked at it before I uploaded it it was awful um, I was had the camera pointed at stuff that wasn't it wasn't even showing the stuff so it was really bad I'm not used to this one-handed stuff so let me turn you around and show you so I got two Pyrex dishes. This one I paid 50 cents for. Just a little uh, like avocado green bowl. These little um, let's see if I can switch this. That's what happens. I turn around and put something up and then I move the camera. These are some little Mellow Mac bowls and um, I paid 50 cents for the stack. This is another Pyrex bowl which is in really good condition. Just needs a good washing. I paid a dollar for that. I got this set of Corel and uh, it was 50 cents for the whole stock. Nice. This is some Home Co. Butterflies and they're still in the box, never used, and they kind of they uh, hang on the wall. So that's what those are. I got a stack of uh, Corning or Corel. Um, Corel coffee cups and uh, I kind of pick, pick these up every time I go somewhere because eventually you know I want to set them you know, make sets and stuff and uh, so I always pick them up and I put them on the side especially when they're like a quarter a piece this is Tigger and he's a Sagittarius mug and he's a Disney and he was one dollar um this came in a whole bag of stuff. This, these two little, um, like, plates. This little vintage candle. Really cute. Oop, there it goes. Focusing. Focus, focus. And I hope I don't... Look at the mess on this table. Can you believe it? Okay. So this is a Westmoreland milk glass. And uh, the dish, little um, lidded dish, like a little wedding dish, uh, candy dish, nut dish. And I know the clear ones I had, the dish sat on the lid, but this one it doesn't do that. So it may not be called a wedding dish. I'm not sure. Um, these, uh, I have a set of these, and I have two, four, six, seven of these. And... Uh, just a simple little highball glass. These are not marked. No, they're not. And uh, but I I've sold these before, and they do pretty well. This is another little uh, stoneware. I have tried to read this a couple times, but I really I haven't. I can't make it out. So it's oven proof. And it does have some crazing on it, but I think that kind of adds a little character to it. Uh, there's no chips or cracks other than the crazing on it. This is a really cute little cocktail set. It has four of the uh, glasses, acrylic glasses, the little uh, cart that it goes in, and the umbrella. Adorable. And it is, it was a dollar. This picture, really pretty. It uh, there was a sticker that said it retailed for forty. Um, it looks like it's hand painted. Almost looks like Mardi Gras colors, purple, green, and gold. And um, it has the the trim, the gold trim. I think there's a tag on this side that says "Made in Romania," and it's crystal very pretty I picked up a few pieces in this set um, 
these two brandy sniffers these are not marked very dirty so i'm sure once they are washed they'll be very very pretty i don't know if they're flash painted or not i don't see any scratches on them but there's a set of four glasses in the back for 50 cents and then there's a set here of two which i probably paid 50 cents for those also these little um guys i'm sorry i keep losing words today little frosted bowls and looks like this two four six eight eight of them uh paid a dollar for those not bad prices these little champagne glasses are really really pretty they that same technique as the uh purple glasses they also are unmarked and very dirty they need they'll I mean, they'll wash up beautiful. This uh, decanter, it has like a pineapple motif to it. It was made in Poland. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. And uh, very heavy. I paid a dollar for that. It's the uh, Corel coordinates stoneware. Um, as far as I can see, there's no cracks or chips unless once I untape all this tape that there's a crack or a chip on the, um, the inside. Now, I don't know. It's the same flower here, but it doesn't look like on this side different flower. So it may, I don't know if that's how it came or if it's mismatched. I have this set of cups they have like a um i can't tell if that's gold or silver it's i think it's a gold rim on the bottom and the top and i can't take it off Oops, sorry. it says fine china and i think it's royal if i'm not mistaken i have this uh set i paid 10 cents a piece for these um, I did have five. One was cracked, so I just threw that one out. Um, but it has a gold rim on the top. Very pretty. So there's this set of uh, plates. They're Oneida. And it's blue ribbon form is the uh, thing. It's a set of four stoneware salad bowls, salad dishes, uh, plates. And they were a dollar. All right, now we move into the floor. <laughs> okay, this is a very pretty, um, says Royal Gallery is the uh, tag on it. And I think it says, yeah, my eyesight is horrible. It says it's made in Poland. Uh, it is uh, art glass. It did have a, um, a retail sticker, I think. A retail sticker of 40 I paid five dollars for this it's very heavy so shipping is gonna be through the sale on, on this guy sorry about the floor guys and then this uh, stoneware kind of crock bowl no cracks no chips it says made in the USA ovenware I paid a dollar These are the saucers or little dessert plates, bread plates that go with those cups. Uh, very pretty blue flower and I could probably lift these. Yesterday my mom helped me and I had to throw out the video because I did such an awful job. And I don't think I'm doing very much better. Royalton China Company made in Japan. And uh these are really nice guys let me show i want to get to these bowls to show you let me put this down without making you fly everywhere okay so these bowls it's a set it looks like they might have another one in there i can't tell but let me see if i can get this tape off i paid three dollars for four bowls so there is another one in there 
And if I can pick up this one, it would be so much easier than trying to pick up the set of three. But look at that on, on the side. How pretty. Um, this is, I don't know if you can see that. It's going to be backwards for you. Um, it says oven proof stoneware and I can't make up the top the next one I paid a dollar for it's a, like a big pasta bowl it is stoneware in a teal color um I'm trying to think if that's everything there this next piece my mom wanted it and I told her she didn't have it but really I'm gonna let her have it if she wants it we had one like this growing up and the lid flips it's probably not worth anything I was gonna put it in my kitchen it was 50 cents just because I like it and it kind of brings back memories I'm gonna move over to this side this is I just thought it was really cool little uh, like hot plates and there's 12 of them in there and they're different colors the plastic on the top is a little uh, warped from the heat I guess wherever they had it saved and the the little uh, black trim is loose but I think I can glue that back or I may just go ahead and send it like it is and just disclose it this will give me my money back by itself these are made in France so I have you, I guess you can use this as a champagne glass I'm not sure y'all I'm not into fine glassware they're very dirty and uh, I was looking them up last night and uh, some of them sell like for almost forty dollars just for the uh, a set of four of these so and there's six seven eight of these as you can see there is a bunch of these so i'm probably going to break them into sets of four and then there i don't want to say there's like 11 or so of these then there's these little pyrex glass um bowls paid a dollar for those and then these I saw at the last minute really pretty and I hope that is not a crack is it no they're all made like that <laughs> it looked like a crack almost uh, very pretty and there is a tag on a few of them so lead crystal made in the USA so they may not be worth a ton of money but I like barware for some reason God only knows I got the three little Taco Bell guys uh, fortunately they wrote on the tags I paid 50 cents a piece for them I just really thought they were cute so they might hang out here as a mascot this little squirrel somebody I think there was a Goodwill sticker on it anyway he's 50 cents I paid 50 cents for him really cute I don't know what he's made out of I guess it could be ceramic and just the finish that they put on it and this this little kitty really cute I think he's made out of resin green eyes somebody paid 59 cents at Goodwill I bought him for a quarter so there's all my giraffes in the window so let me come back this way because I did miss something <clears throat> a few things so this spins I can't do it but anyway it spins like a lazy lazy Susan and uh, there's a little I think it's brass a brass top it spins the top comes off and then there's like the little uh, thing there is a little crack on the plastic 
at first it's in such good condition it doesn't really look like it was ever used so I don't know what that brand is if you know what that house is um, it was made in Taiwan and then in this box there's some milk glass cups these were made in um, France you can see is that Ar Archipel? I don't know. I always say it wrong. Don't laugh at me. Archipel, Archipel, France. And a really pretty floral design. I have four of those. I paid a quarter for those. Yesterday I was showing this in my first attempt to make a video. And uh, I said, oh, there's a crack in it. My mom's like, no, it's just a chip. One of the little balls on the side uh, broke off. But it's cute. If nobody wants it, I'll put it next to my sink. Not that I take my rings off, but it's just cute. This, and I won't take it out the star foam because I'll never get it back. It said that it retailed for uh, $29. It's a two-quart tea kettle, enamel tea kettle. So this is the brand very pretty and I'll pull up the um, this is the top very pretty like um, enamel brass trim and oops pull it up here I don't know if you can see it in this box but we had such a hard time getting the styrofoam part out but it is brand new never used in this box so I'm just gonna slide that right back in there I'm gonna take I will have to take it out to take some pictures or I may not I don't know yet I haven't decided these two little uh, demi toss cups Diamori probably for like uh, God, the liqueur amaretto maybe and uh, made in China but I think these are still vintage then all right let's see if I can open this bag because my mom taped it back but maybe I won't be able to so there's four art glass uh, three fruit and one vegetable it's a green pepper an apple a peach and a lemon very very heavy and I was looking these up uh, earlier today while I was sitting at the doctor's office and these go for about 16 bucks a piece so and then I like this cup it just reminds me of when I was growing up I don't know you know just the 70s kind of 60s 70s my mom's kitchen was avocado green growing up so it just kind of reminds me of that uh, it says Japan on the bottom oops you see that's what I do I hold it so high because I'm not looking okay Japan yeah so really pretty and let's see what else what else what else I think that's it now let me turn you so at home I did bring a few home things home last night to list and um, one was a cobalt blue uh, liqueur decanter with because uh, it wasn't very big it was maybe where the designs on this one started that's where it kind of ended at and glasses it was like a bohemian design to it so I got that with six of the little shot glasses I got um, some other little uh, liqueur glasses, stemmed liqueur glasses with a, uh, like a painted flower, not painted, um, like an enamel type flower. I don't know what you call it. I guess maybe painted on. Um, what else did I get, guys? Um, uh, I am brain dead today. But it was like about four or five more things that I um, took pictures and I did list some I listed three and then uh, 
my chronic fatigue kicked in really bad and I could not hold my eyes open and I was afraid I was going to list something that did not make sense. So I went ahead and stopped and uh, so didn't make the listing challenge last night because it was only three. And um, I guess that's about it. But like I said, I spent $100. Oh, I did get, um, and that I think I brought home. It's two vintage pink and shears very heavy um they do need some sharpening probably uh i did get those i got a um a quart size ziploc bag of buttons somebody else did get it before i got there and she also wanted my my brown uh blue croc uh the stoneware bowl but i got that before she did <laughs> and um trying to think what else and then after i left there i had the nerve to go to dollar deals it was four dollar day yesterday and i picked up a star wars uh, blanket let me see if i can grab it and let you see it is a star wars throw which is i think it's like a twin size super soft plush blanket and um that and it doesn't count for much it is disney um, maybe about $12. Oh, this is what I also I got. These cars and these little, um, this is Woody. And then they had, I want to say they have Goofy, Mickey Mouse. Um, I didn't get a chance to look these up. And then there's a few other things in here. I'm not sure if they're worth anything or not. Um, I, there is a spider, a couple of Spider-Men and I don't know who he is. A black Spider-Man and the two the red and blue and then the red with the dark I know they all have different names or Spider-Man but different movies or whatever so those for the haul considering the things that I have at home that I did not list so um, I hope you enjoyed this I apologize for the bad camera work, but I'm working with one hand and I can't do that. And it was too much, way too much to, um, I'm, I was looking on the floor to, oops, to see if I missed something. But let me come run over here real quick and see. Nope, that box is empty. So, um, so I'm so sorry. I, I'm a horrible camera person. So, um, I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and comment below um please don't comment on the camera well you can comment on my camera work <laughs> so uh and then oh you know what you guys i did buy this little mary statue she was 50 cents and all of her petals were intact so I was really worked hard to keep, we carried her all the way home um, in the car that was really full because I was in my mom's car and uh, it was really full. So uh, again, thanks for watching and I hope you come back for the next one. Maybe the camera work won't be so bad. I'll put you on a tripod. All right, guys. Thanks and have a blessed day.